We're going to start with. Um, okay, we are recording. This is call number three. So uh, a couple little um, disclaimers right up front. Remember that next Monday we do not have a meeting. And so you have an extra week to get a little extra homework done, but you must, you must have a one-on-one -on -one phone call with your director. So before we have our next time, you must have a phone call, one-on-one -on -one coaching call with your director. Um, so then there'll be two more calls uh, the last two weeks of October. So that would be October 21st and I believe it's October 28th. And hopefully October 28th, there's gonna be a lot of whooping and uh, um, celebrating on this call because our goal is to have you guys have the very best business and either be qualified as a director, be on the brink of director, or have your best paycheck ever. So um, we are going to get started with updates. So please, this is where you get to celebrate and be proud out loud of what is happening on your team. And I know that there is a lot of that's happening. And hi, Joy, I was just with you for the last couple of days. Nice to see you. So <laughs> let's get going. Who wants to start? Who's exciting? Who's exciting? Who's excited? <laughs> Denise, you have to unmute and, and share here. Um, okay, last month my team did have their best month. Um, I was trying to pull up the totals right now, but uh, I became team lead last month. Yay! <laughs> so we did have over 2,500, and my, um, let me see, and I had my at least two active. Uh, I can't even pull it up, but I did have an, another recruit. Uh, last night, we've already submitted in our first week uh, is actually $1,341.60 in, in the team. Um, and there is another thousand sitting out and unsubmitted for our first week. So yes, <laughs> so yay. Halfway <laughs> there. I, I've got two of my recruits with possible recruits. So um, yes, we're excited. So I'm up to seven recruits and with two, and like I said, two of my recruits with each. So that would expand our team. Yay. So we're excited. <laughs> Yay. That is awesome. I'm going to have you share your blender um, tip in just a bit, but um, let's hear from other people. What we want to know is how people have responded to your, the first two weeks were all about generating new contacts. So how are you okay. doing towards that? Who would like to well, go? Well, okay, um, I'll, I'll go. Last, well, we're actually traveling on our way back from Kansas to Pennsylvania, so I'm bouncing all over in a car right now. But um, I was able to, with my contacts, I ended up sending out five host packets before we left <laughs> last week to, to Kansas. So. Bookings are on the rise, so bookings are on the rise, and I have a, a recruit on the edge, so we're getting there. Good. You're getting there. So your, your calendar is better than it was. Who else? Yes. Who Can we see who all is on this call? Um, if you go to the bottom, um, oh, uh, there's 14 participants. I see Denise Garza, Wendy Gunderson, Katie Bardo, Sue Myers, Joy Hampton, Patty, you, um, Brenda, that should be Brenda Cunningham, I think, Perian, Katerina Strokes, Tammy Deaver, Lisa Ford, and I don't know if it's the same Tammy in there twice or if we have two different Tammies. And what Looks you like guys- two different ones. Um, in the chat box, could you guys each um, say, hello, I'm Wendy from wherever, I'm Joy from, you know, and so that Nancy Joe is joined, oh, Nancy can't read that then either. Never mind, you're on a phone. You know what, I can read the chat, yep. Oh, you can read the chat, okay. Yep. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm not with video, but I'll be here. I can see you, so. <laughs> okay, that's good. 
All right, who else wants to update? How, how is your, um, how have people responded from you contacting them? Hi, this is Wendy. Um, I'm having a rough start, but it's getting better. I've um, been doing my contacts. I'm up to like almost 50 and I had no parties to start with. I now have two and Good. I have, I did my Polito thing and <laughs> I handed a catalog to a girl at Walmart and it went really well. And she's one of my new parties. My one active um, recruit, my team member, she's doing really well. So as a two person team last month, we did over $4,000, she and I. Wow. Woo! I can't get my other two people to get off the dime. So I think they're kind of gone at this point, but we're, get, we're moving forward. Okay, can I make a suggestion? Please. Okay, so offer to do a mega show for those people and um, where you put, you have them put some people in a party and let them be the uh, consultant acting as host and you run the party, it's up to them to com comment on their guests, but that could activate them for, with you doing the virtual party and then they can, because they're in there, they'll be able to take and copy and paste um, your, your um, posts into a party for themselves. Sometimes you just have to help them get started. And that's just uh, a great way to do that with, and, and do you have since share? Uh, no, no, but okay. I, I schedule with Facebook. Okay. Yeah. So, um, so you can do a, you know, a, the virtual party, have them add people and then have their people just order through them okay mm -hmm. do, yep. do you understand i do and then i've th done that before, that might so. and even if it's just since you're doing so successful just with you and another person um if that gets them active for one month that can get you to directorship and it doesn't matter once you get to directorship it doesn't matter how many people are active in the following months as long as you do the five thousand and you okay. do 750 of it so it's a great way to get a few of what we call kidnappers or you know um people that just aren't doing anything it's a great way to get them doing something for one month and it gets you there and then you can recruit some more people okay makes sense i'll do it okay and i would suggest it to anybody who's really who's getting close if you've got some inactive people talk to them about this is heritage month um, it's our 39 year anniversary. Um, I, I'm gonna challenge you to do one. Um, we're trying to get every consultant to do at least one party, uh, whether it's virtual or not, you know, or live, um, or collect $150 in orders. So, uh, so wouldn't it be awesome if almost everyone was active, okay? And, um, or it would be great if everyone was active in our Heritage Month, but, um, but, it's, it's just a great way to get people to get something in. You're kind of doing the work. They're just adding some people. They're going to get some sales, and maybe that will get them restarted, or if nothing else, it'll get you to directorship. <coughs> okay. Love that idea. So let's, um, let's look at strategies for the month, and let's start off by reviewing what we learned um, um, from the Julie Ritter call, the Marta call, the Stephanie call. So all, there was a new training that you were supposed to do, and that was to listen to Julie Ritter. Put your hand up or whatever if you did it. All right. So let's hear our best three takeaways from the Julie Ritter call. Well, I think for me, from Julie Ritter's call, the, the most direct takeaway, and it made me feel like, duh, what's wrong with me, but it's just end the conversation on a question. And I'm not good at that. So on my monitor now, you can't see it, but I have ask the question 
on a sticky note on my monitor. Excellent. Excellent. Because it's all about engagement, right? It's all about, you know, this or that, peanut butter and, would you like to? How does that sound to you? You want to have a show this week or that week? <laughs> have you ever thought of? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Who else has some takeaways from Julie Ritter's training? Anybody, everybody, anyone? Hello, this is Katerina. Um, I guess I kind of liked um, the, some of her suggestion on just reaching out and getting new contacts. I mean, I'm still, you know, fairly new when I, you know, rejoining Pampered Chef. So I still have a lot of contacts. You know, I've only gone through about 50 so far in the last couple of weeks, you know, maybe more. I, I don't really know. But um, so I really like the idea of like the schools and reaching out to like the banks and stuff like that. Because when you go to a restaurant, or a business, what do you, you know, you do see these unique cards or Sensi cards or, or whatever, you, you see something um, as a form of advertisement. And I like the idea of, um, you know, putting a mini catalog and, you know, offering a coupon, you know, you know, five, you know, with this, you know, $5 off a $50 purchase or, you know, $10 off your uh, host order when you have a party. So those were a couple of takeaways I really um, definitely want to um, add to what I'm doing already. Excellent. And make sure you put in on your coupon only redeemable through your name and and then phone number or ta um, or email. Right, right. So, I, who else? Oh. Who is that? Go ahead, Tammy. Um, I would like to try the What's for Dinner live videos, What's for Dinner Wednesdays. I think that sounds really cool. And I also, my virtual shows are getting bigger. I changed my uh, format a little bit. Um, but I like the... Uh, she has uh, adding a have it, love it, want it post. So I think I'm going to do that at the beginning. So, you know, get the guests more interactive. I, I really like that. And so a great, that's, my, that's my big take. A, Tammy, a great one to do that with is the mix and chop or the chopper. Or, okay. Uh, you know, things like that because, uh, or a stone, the, the, you know, the got it, have, uh, love it, want it, you know, one, mm -hmm. do it with products that have been around for a really long time so that you're going to engage with people. And you can even do one of those once a day um, because what it does, when people see that other people are loving a product um, and how they're using it, um, that makes them want it more from the, because of what they said, even more so than what we said. I totally agree. So let's, um, let's talk about two things. One is it's all about the work that we do. Um, I was just at a uh, training, uh, Joy was there too, with uh, Kristen Coy. And we had a, um, we had a really nice, um, really nice uh, presentation by Mary Haynes as well. And um, I'm trying to find the quote um, about being intentional and um, having integrity and just working and no excuses. Give me a second here. Um, looking up my quote. Sorry. While you're looking, uh, Mary Haynes taught me something new um, about working in groups of time. And what was it called? A po not a Palumbo. What? Uh, Pomodoro. Pomodoro. Okay. So this person that she was quoting talked about working in a 25-minute increment and then having five minutes to get up, go to the restroom, get water, whatever it may be. But uh, Pomodoro. Uh, it's one Pomodoro to do X, Y, Z. It's two Pomodoros to do X, uh, A, B, C, and X, Y, Z. And that was really, um, that was enlightening to me. Um, I don't know why I called it a Palumbo, but Pomodoro. <laughs> but, uh, but anyway, I really liked that idea too, because it broke it down. And your Pomodoro may be 15 minutes long. Whatever, whatever um, time frame you need it to be, you, you think of it in how many Pomodoros is this going to take, uh, take to, for me to finish. 
So thank you. Yes, uh, based on the Harvard research, the ideal Pomodoro is 25 minutes and then you take a five minute break. So if you're gonna intentionally respond to Facebook shows that are going on, you go in there, you set your timer for 25 minutes, you respond for only 25 minutes, timer's up, you're done. You take a five minute break. Your next Pomodoro is either the same assignment or now you're gonna focus on host coaching or something else. So you schedule your day and looking ahead, you may say, okay, this task is gonna take two Pomodoros. I'm gonna assign two Pomodoros to this task, but you're zeroed in and focusing on that. So elements of a strong work ethic, integrity, which means doing the right thing when no one else is watching, professionalism, doing things that professionals do, discipline and self-control, following through on the tasks that were assigned, sense of responsibility, ownership of the tasks assigned to you, and quality work, uh, producing good work consistently. Um, and, um, you know, she talked about multitasking, not working. So I want to remind you, what is the goal of this? The goal of this is for us to make our contacts, to fill our schedule, to look at activity based on a week, four, sh four shows a week if we're doing virtuals, or two cooking shows a week if we're doing cooking, but creating a paycheck that is gonna be every week. So we've got to visit what's going on right now and let's talk about this or that. So, um, oh, Denise is still on the phone, but when she gets off the phone, we're gonna have her share. Um, I saw a post by Eileen O'Haran, and I did post it, and it was the $39 Madagascar Vanilla, or for $39, you can get a $400 kit. Um, this or that, vanilla or a business. And Denise suggested that we do the quick slice, which comes in the kit. So for the price of the quick slice, you could already get the kit that the quick slice comes in it. So you're gonna get this and that. Um, how are you gonna uh, promote the $39 deal this month? Tell me what irons you have in the fire and what suggestions you have. What kind of cute things could you do? Oh, Katarina said, I shared that picture and I got a recruit, good for you. Who else? I had, um, this is Katarina again. I had another girl sign up yesterday um, and just really just kind of showing the same um, picture, but with the ultimate kit because she was wanting the quick cooker. So it kind of showed like, you know, getting the quick cooker and the stuff that we get with it, you know, for, it was, it's like getting that for 30% off and, and then it shows everything else for free. And for her, um, that's what she liked. She's like, you know, yeah, that's what, that's what I want because I want the quick cooker. So um, that's, that's what did it. The picture helped a lot to show uh, that visualization. Smart. Anyone else? I mean, this is, this is, you have a silver gift in your, it's like somebody put this on a silver platter for you and is saying, here, go, go and multiply. <laughs> Now, and Marie, like you, like you said earlier um, on the other call, we've never done this at $39 to get a kit for $39. We have, you could get a business last year, but no products for the $39. So you just want to, we want you guys to jump on this because this may never, ever happen again. Uh, it's, an, it's, a, it's a platinum opportunity beyond golden. It's platinum. And um, so we want you guys to utilize this as much as you can. And, um, and I love the this or that. It, but in, and when you're talking to people, say you can try the apron on. And remember, your commitment is 1250 in sales. So you can do that in a week, in a month, in three months. But try it on and see if you like it. And if after you decide it's not for you, look at all the great things you're going to have for your kitchen but what if it is for you? Mm -hmm. What if you love it? Oh my gosh. So um, 
Uh, that's great, Nance. Um, so Tammy said she shared the picture instead of the quick cook slice. Um, I shared the picture of, oh, instead of the quick slice, you get this. And she got her first recruit. So that was really good. And Allison, on our last call, I don't know if you saw it on Rockstars um, on the Rise, she actually just posted a picture that says this or that. So the $40 quick slice or the kit. So they're already on this. Good. Yeah, and we should say in the $40 quick slice, guess what? You get this and that <laughs> if, you do, if you choose B. What do you think is the better deal? Well, yeah. Once again, but you, you want to make sure that you that people are buying the, the the business, not just the extra products. Okay, it's it's not. You have to be clear. You're not selling kits. You're selling a business. And um, and because you know what, guys, let, let me put it like this: say if somebody, if you're just saying, hey, you guys, buy the kit, buy the kit, buy the kit, you're going to get this they don't have to buy that $360 worth of products from anyone else. No one wins if you're just selling kits and not selling businesses. So you do, you do want to make sure that people are interested in the business, not just free product. Correct. Denise. So could, yes. Sorry. <laughs> I'm, gl I'm glad you rejoined us because you had a brilliant idea that you shared with the last group about your uh, deluxe cooking blender and how it's generated activity. And um, this is a very different idea that I've never heard before. So um, you're talking about taking the new one. Yeah. Okay. So I had an opportunity cause I did, um, I did, you know, I, I wound up with two blenders. So I kept one in a box um, and then I actually bought the sample of the quick cooker and still had it in a box as well. So what I've done is I've taken them with me to the parties and um, given, you know, at the party as told them if you buy it full price today, you can actually take it home with you today. So that is giving you know there's been a couple that we've sold that way uh that they're just excited to take it home and use it right away so then when they purchase it they still purchase it under their name so they have the warranty and everything but instead of shipping it directly to them i have it shipped to me so that way i replace the one that i have and yet they still have a warranty under theirs for their name so. that is brilliant it's and how many did that with the quick cooker too yeah the quick cooker as well i've done one with the quick cooker and two with the blender Wow. Awesome. That's a thousand dollars in sales right there. Mm -hmm. Or nine hundred dollars. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nine hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, nine hundred and fifty dollars in sales. So that's or eight hundred and fifty dollars in sales. That's awesome. No, it is nine nine fifty. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so and yeah, so one was impulse buying. Yeah, it, it's, you know, they, they want it right away, the excitement of the party and using it, and I can't wait to get it home and use it right away is, you know, and, and so I was sharing, you know, that that's part of my, I mean, we're only in day seven, and we, I've already submitted 1,300 in cells, so uh, this week, that's, I've never done that. <laughs> so, that's great. You know, so that's, I, you know, so each of my team members is doing that now. They're each waiting to get one, so we think that's going to help a lot. And, up, and really, you don't even have to bring it into the party no, and I'm take up counter space. You can keep it in your car. Yeah. 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 Keep it in the car. So, <laughs> but I have one in the car if you want to take it home today. So that's basically what, what it helped. And they were, they kind of like, really? <laughs> so, yeah. So, um, yeah, it, it's worked. You know, there's been, you can tell there's, you know, a few that like they want it at a discount, they want to schedule a party, but they're not really sure. And you can almost tell the ones that are going to reschedule on you or going to cancel or not really going to go through with having the party. And I said, well, you know, I do have one in the car. <laughs> if you want to take it home with you today? And, uh, you know, so. Uh, and Denise, yeah. you can always still have them book a party for the one you that they didn't get. Say, That's say true. that. They, they want the quick blender or the deluxe cooking blender. Um, now you can have a party to get the quick cooker for half price. Mm -hmm. um, let's, let's talk takeaways from um, last week you were listening to Julie Ritter's and then the week before you listened to Marna's and you listened to Stephanie's. Is there been any 
And then we gave you the document about, from Becca about uh, top tips for virtual shows. Has anyone on this call implemented what you learned from Becca, Stephanie, Marna, or Julie? Oh, it's all in my head. Mm. Definitely doing the contacts is helping and I have all my team members doing that. I know that's been helpful a lot. Okay. What I suggested, oh, oh no, I, I, that was this phone call. <laughs> Never mind. Um, all right, so let's talk about best practices for virtual shows. Let's re at least review that document. Okay, did everybody print it off? Everybody had it? Uh, was there anything in there? Um, you know, Becca is doing five to seven shows a week. She's getting a paycheck each and every week. And one of the things that is um, kind of a light bulb moment is starting to talk to our team and your team with what do you have going on this week? What's your paycheck going to be for this week? The expectation that everybody's going to get two paychecks a month and the expectation that I want all of you to be aware how much money is on the table for you right now this month with this $39 kit. Think about how many people could join your team and you could get $500 per person when they promote. You are getting the bonus along with them. Um, so not only are you building a team, you're building a future organization. I've been trying to um, get people with the $39 startup so i've been working on that um I, ironically yeah i think that's a big push all right you guys are all quiet let's let's do a little shout out katie what's um what's going on in your organization and what do we have to be excited about well, um, Sarah just did her first vendor event all by herself and got a couple of leads outside of her friends and family, so that's exciting for her. Um, my other girl, Melissa, is uh, just about to get, I thought I had lost her, to, to be honest, but she messaged me and we talked and she's getting ready to start working her business again. I was updating her on specials. Um, Debbie is on a cruise. Uh, but running five virtual parties this month while on a Canadian cruise. So, uh -huh. um, that's great. That's awesome. Um, I've been doing my contacts. I've got a couple of parties uh, booked into November. I added two to my calendar this month. I had an event this uh, weekend and added another party. So, and then I'm working on, I've been talking to a couple people already about the $39 kit. Really anybody that's ever expressed any type of an interest um, and any of the products in the kit or in working the business at any time and possibly not being able to afford it. Um, anybody that has turned me down in the past, um, I'm just like, hey, you know, I know you considered this uh, a few months ago. I just want to let you know about this really great deal that come out, um, came up. Does this change the way you felt at all? And then I'm just Great. Let's brainstorm here. I'm just like thinking about quick slice, demo, like you're making a salad for lunch. And you do a like 10 second, isn't this the best thing? One of my favorite products. Well, let me tell you, not only can you get this, but you can get a business for the price of this. this I have month. a really popular, two really popular quick slice videos that I did and they're super fast. One's on my Instagram and it has like 200 and something views. And it's literally just me dicing a bell pepper. Um, no sound, just I'm dicing a bell pepper in like 30 seconds. Um, that's one of the quick slice videos I did. That content again with this, now that you guys were talking about that today. The other video that I did is actually a short live tutorial. And I just said how to, how to dice with the quick slice, because I think that's something a lot of people don't know, so I do it a couple times. And in this video, I use ham. Um, and I was telling people that I was dicing the ham to add into some 
um, broccoli mac and cheese. So that I was going to have a ham, broccoli, mac and cheese for my family. So I gave them a whole recipe idea while showing them how to dice ham in, in about a minute. Excellent. So you thinking you could tweak that video that you already have, add the information about starting a business yeah. for the price of a quick, uh, quick slice. Use the content, absolutely. Great idea. Yeah, I, I love that post with the vanilla or the business. <laughs> but I, I'm the brain is going with all this other opp opportunity and getting people off to a quick start. Um, so we also learned, um, <clears throat> thanks to Nancy Joe getting some information from Donna McDonald, Becky Ishi, uh, Love Carpenter, Stacey Itzel. Some people are doing a 15 minute show, different, not on Facebook, with a group, but by messenger or text. And the, the idea is pretty simple. And this is something for trying to get people to be active on your team with like a, a small little hundred, you know, couple hundred dollar show to have at least a little fast show. So we're talking an express 15 minute party. And this is how it works. It's basically a group uh, your hostess would get a group of at least 10 people, 10 or 11 people, and there would be a certain time and place. So Wednesday night at 8.45 till 9 p.m., we're going to do a, a very quick express 15-minute party, and they're going to get 10 texts or messages from you, and you're going to feature just 10 products or 10 combination of products like a holiday bundle or a cooking bundle or a, um, you know the new uh, pretzel maker set and then the very last text would be more of a power product with the shopping link and you say that up front you're going to get a series of 10 texts at the end included in the last one is going to be a shopping link and then you're going to also give them a Google form to fill out to let them ask them some questions about how they thought the party went. Did they like that? Would they be interested in, you know, having something of their own similar, a little bit different? And um, Nancy Joe could probably speak to this better than I can about the success of people just doing something totally different, getting off of the Facebook group and having brand new people get off to a good start right up front and not having to even think about how to do a quick catalog show in a way. Nance, I don't know if you want to unmute and speak to that at all. Sorry, I thought I was, I thought I was, amazing. anyway, um, not used to doing this on a phone. Donna McDonald shared this with me and she said it was amazing how many people that were going to be going inactive or, um, you know, just people that needed to save directorships, um, just all kinds of things. They just did this 15 minute and it was, what was so cool about it is she, she was saying people were qualifying their shows within 45 minutes of the show. Their first order was within the first orders were within the first five to 10 minutes after the show was done. And what you do is you set up like say on your husband's or your child's Facebook messenger, um, the private message, I always call it the blue bubble. All right. Um, and you set up all 10 posts that you want and you could do my 10 favorite things. Um, or the 10 workhorse, uh, the 10 workhorse products for your kitchen. And you do these 10 posts in their, like in their private message group. And then I hear somebody doing something. So if you're, if you're doing something else, please mute. And then um, what you do is you just share that over to yours every minute to minute and a half to your new group. And what's really cool is it's not, it's hardly any work on the host part you're not having to send them something everything for five days they're not adding 150 people it's just a quick boom and um and they can always add more people and see it later 
and just have the people scroll through things that they go to work the next day and say, oh my gosh, I just did this thing. And oh, I wish you would have invited me. No problem, let me add you to the group. So you can just add people and they can go there and still order. Um, but it's so fast and so easy and everybody has 15 minutes and is willing to put in 15 minutes. So, and you can put a little video in there. You can, you know, you want to just give the each, each one of the, um, the posts about a minute to minute and a half and then just be ready to interact with the chats from it. And it's all on Messenger? Yes. Yeah. And you can do it by text too, but yeah, it was it was kind of created for Facebook Messenger. And so the hostess has to get 10 people who want to be part of this. And it's just quick and easy. And, and what's kind of cool about the Facebook part of it is nobody's ending up in jail, okay? Um, and you can share this with your team really easily because it's 10 posts and Facebook's not monitoring the messenger like they are the other. And so that's why it's working so nicely for people. And, um, and it's just, it's fast and it's easy. It's really easy on the host too. Because you, you saw the 18 pages of messages that Stephen has for host coaching. It, it, it eliminates all of that. It eliminates all of that. So. You know, I, uh, I think this would work as a watch party on Facebook too. You could do it as, you could set up your, your videos ahead of time. Yep. And do exactly the same thing, only you've got the visual component going and Facebook loves you because you're doing video. Yep. And explain what a watch party was because. Oh, a watch party. I, well, the first time I just, you're going to laugh. The first time I saw that phrase, I thought somebody was selling watches. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, considering there's pearl parties and all you do is watch somebody open oysters. Right. Um, right. Yeah. No, a watch party is really simple. Um, all it is, is you are collectively watching videos together with your friends. You can set it up in advance so that you just queue up all the videos you want to share with people or you can add them dynamically as your party is going okay. like if somebody says oh this is really cool it reminds me of blah you know oh I, I wonder if I could do this in a rock crock and if you're quick and organized you can add another video to your stream and if you have made your own videos and if it's ever been posted on Facebook you can redo your own shows you can use your own videos you can use anything that's been posted on Facebook you can interact in between those with yes, the watch party? Yes, you can. You can interact. You can make live comments. Now, guests can't make live comments. They can only chat, but you can set it up so that you can be live in the party. You get a little face bubble in there, and so you can interact, and it's really cool. When I've done it with um, people, it has been very successful. They love it, and it's great because you're relationship building. Okay, but the ho the ho the consultants live, so, but can you get the host live also? Is it just no, one person? one person? So you know, you start it so you can control it. If you want to do it as a party, that would be how I would do it. Okay. Um, I wouldn't want to give that control over because I want them to see my ten posts. Right, right. And then at the end of that, you could say, "Hey, does anybody else have a video you want to share?" Because they can share video. So they, yeah, 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 kind of. Um, so if you know everybody in the party and you know they're only going to show you a cute cat video, but th that is a caveat, you know, they can add to the, the party if you give them permission. But there's a lot of, it takes like five minutes to set up once you get your videos in there and you can set some permissions. At least this is how it worked last week. God knows what they're going to do this week. Can you go back and watch it? Yes, you can go back and watch it. Uh, now, somebody talked about they had gone Facebook Live doing um, some cooking in their kitchen, and they went back to their video that they had already done and turned it into a watch party, but made extra comments. Joy, you remember, can you speak to that? Because we, we heard about that at the retreat we're at. Yes, it's actually something that I've done before um, from doing Facebook Lives and demos and stuff in my kitchen. Because I'll save on my profile and I'll have them all to my phone and then load them into YouTube later. 
Um, and then when I'm doing a virtual party, if I want to add like a recipe, but I want to put a different spin on it instead of using, you know, the uh, home office videos, I can do and show them um, one of the ones that I did from a live demo. Um, the benefits of it is you get extra notifications than just posting a video. You know, it alerts people that, hey, there's something going on in the group right now, so go ahead and get over there. Um, and another benefit is, is that when everybody comes in to start watching the video, you can be there too, interacting and commenting along with them as they're watching the video and adding in extra things. Um, like when I'm doing Facebook Live, personally, it sort of like grinds my gears when people sit there and go, let's just wait and see who's going to pop on and join me yeah. and give shout outs to everybody. In the world. Like, I don't know these people. And when I'm watching it on a replay, it's just like, oh. Um, so I never do that. I don't, you know, comment or anything when, you know, people are doing comments. I usually just go back and, and do that stuff later. Plus, it makes the video better when people are watching it a little bit later. Um, so that's how I do it. Excellent, because I heard that they added extra content to that and then, um, you know, it, it was better the second time around because of the extra yeah. content, because you could say, oh, that's item number 1371. If you want it, you know, let me know. Exactly. Or I also use it for roasted vegetables or whatever. So, okay, we know that we, um, uh, I'm going to defer. I don't know if Patty or Nancy Joe. Right now, there is some training um, that you still can get to about uh, recruiting your guests in home and at virtual parties. And I believe it's called Tell All by uh, Brenda and Genevieve, and it's from a conference. And I believe it's also, there is um, how to recruit um, classes or segments in Dash. So if you're gonna put down homework, the homework is to continue on your bookings. Um, look at your activity within your shows to promote more engagement. And I, we are going to assign all of you to do something with either the quick slice, a this or that, something on your own personal feed to generate more shows and more recruits. Because we're at, um, the very beginning of the month. Everything is possible this month. There could be a handful or a boatload of people that once they see your video or your comment or your cute quick slice video that are gonna say, oh my gosh, I need to start and why not give it a try? Nancy Joe started for money for Christmas. That's all. Some people at this point in time are looking for their kids need braces or their kids want to play travel soccer or they are looking at um, saving money for college. Their kids are applying to colleges and they're looking at maybe next year being tuition payments. There's a whole lot of reasons. And this is our last 90 days of the year. Anybody sitting on this call can either re-promote re yourself to director, Sue, <laughs> or become a director. And I, who here is going for it this month? Can I see a hand? Joy is, DJ is, Katie is, Katie's two-handed. Mm -hmm. Denise, I think you got it. I, oh my God, I have goosebumps. Can you see the goosebumps? I'm so excited for you. Okay, but you must, must, must. You cannot, just because we're skipping next Monday, you have to have your one-on-one -on -one coaching call. It is your responsibility to say to your director, so DJ and Katie, you have, and Brenda, you have to say, Marie, when are you available? Let's set up a time. Denise, you're going to do that with Patty. I got you, Patty. Okay. <laughs> okay. Because you have, uh, we want to get specific <laughs> what your calendar looks like. Let's strategize how to make this happen. It is all about your activity. So um, the 5,000, why not just go for as much of that yourself and then let's strategize about getting everybody else active. The mega party. And I am also going to just suggest if you have a location 
or an opportunity to do something in your own home and do it as a fundraiser for um, Hope Cancer Lodge, um, that might be a way to generate additional sales. And um, when I, um, 2015, I think it was 2015, 2013, whenever I became a national executive director the first time, um, I had a fundraiser in May for Help With Cancer. And I invited lots of people, and I had a couple people on my team invite lots of people. At that time, my mom was still verbal. She was at the door handing out name tags and raffle slips. <laughs> so as people came in, and as people booked show and bought things, they got raffle tickets. We had raffle prizes, and people put things in for buying, booking, and they could then win other things. But what happened is a bunch of sales were generated that night. And I had a couple people there with me who were on my team who needed to make numbers. And they invited some of their people as well. And we generated, um, all, the, all the sales went towards the American Cancer Society, but we were able to um, have several people uh, submit a fundraiser. So it worked out beautifully at that time. So that's another opportunity for um, activity. So that's all I have. Patty, Nancy, Joe, I talk too much. You guys, you could finish it up. So I just um, wanted, oh, sorry, go, go ahead. ahead. No, no, go ahead. <laughs> So this is Sue Nancy Joe. So I just wanted to say, um, going back to the Marna Ross with the three, the special gift for the three bookings, and I've always done that. But what I've done is like, cause I'm having great success with my bookings, but I'm tweaking my wording because I want to book a little bit in close. So what I'm doing right now, for example, all my October shows, whether they are virtual or live, I am promoting to the audience that when three shows are booked and held, by the end of December. So I look at the current month and the next two months because the goal is to get one of those bookings for the current month and the next two. I, I know we have six months out for the future party pick, but I wanna, book, I wanna cut it in half. So when we get three shows booked and held within the next, the current month and the next two, then that host gets an additional gift from me. So I'm having much more success booking a little bit in close on my calendar. And on my virtual shows, I am doing, I start all my shows on Friday, so there's consistency. And when I'm giving that option, I have a little booking graphic, like right now I've got little jack-o'-lanterns. You know, they've got the empty pumpkin patch. When they book three shows for each one, I'll, a little graphic will come up with a new pumpkin. And um, I only offer the next two Fridays, whatever those next two Fridays happen to be. So. Um, going back to the sale, becoming a show, I had somebody walk into an event and they wanted um, bread, beer bread mix. And I said, well, we can certainly order that or you can get that free with a benefit. Long story short, we started a virtual show within three days. That show closed over at 600. So she got the extra 100. And she got two bookings from that. And they're both started. One started on the 4th and one starts on the 11th. I don't want to go too far out. I'm, I'm booking that way. So I kind I like what Mar, I mean, I, with Marna, I always learned so much from her, but I like the three, three bookings, but I'm cutting it a little bit closer. I want my calendar to be more, you know, full here, not down the road. So that's something that's working for me is getting the bookings for the current month and the next two. Well, and odds, odds are they're going to hold, they're actually going to hold if you book, book it within the next three months. I don't even let people know there's six months. Right. I, I just say, would you like October or November? Or would you like the first two weeks or the last two weeks of fill in the blank? Yep. And then, and then go to first week or second week, especially with virtual. You, you can do, you can start it. They can start adding people tomorrow. It's, there's no, there doesn't have to be any lead time like there did like there had to be with a show, with a, a live party. So um, it, it's, it's really, you can slam this month and set up the rest of your year based on a one push month. Marna talked also about having a push month. And if I was going to do a push month at any month of the year, it would be this one. 
because of the $39 kit and all that they're offering between the cookware and the blender. So you guys, you have a platinum opportunity. I, 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 I think I said on the last call, it's hard to remember what was this call and last call, but um, anyway, it, it's a platinum opportunity, what you have right now. Please don't let it go. Please don't let it go. Anybody that's got at least two or three consultants, do not pass this month up without making directorship. Okay. And it, you can get five. People are qualifying in 30 days all the time. So with a $39 kit, if they, if they all, remember, they just need to be active with $150. And you do the bulk of the sales. You guys do this. You can do it. You Thank know, you. and I'm a visual person, so I think if we have all the product that come in the 39 kit, what I'm sitting here thinking about is I'll do, because I do a quick slice video with either mushrooms or strawberries, because anybody who knows the egg slice or plus, they love the quick slice. It's a bigger base. It's more uh, sturdy blade. So I just tend to do mushrooms or strawberries. But then what I'll probably do is have all the kit contents on the counter. When I'm done with the video, I'll just scan over to show everything. So if you don't have the product, you can certainly do the flyer, but being such a visual person, I'm really gonna, in the, in the everyday rock rock, I mean, it's, but I'm a visual, I wanna see it. So I am talking with three former teammates. Uh, you know, one of them made a comment one time, she couldn't work the business as much as she wanted because she had a half day kindergartner. That half day kindergartner is now full time first grade. We are back to having the conversation for $39 because I know her calendar just opened up during the school hours. So I'm approaching people who I know, you know, we dangle the carrot. So I'm following up with three of them who used to be on the team. So I love these calls. I want to thank all of you because I have people who are doing the homework behind the scenes that can't be on these Zoom calls. And as a leader, I want to know what we should be doing so I can present that to the team. So once again, Maria, I have a whole page of notes. Wow. Wow. <laughs> so I appreciate it. Well, good. Um, You're welcome. Okay. Um, Patty, ending notes. You want to shut off the recording? You're muted, Patty. <laughs>